more of our friends taking a big risk in this video. So whenever I talk to my friends about Windows command line having the same features as Linux, this is how my friends react. So I went with my friend Natasha to speak to Hawkeye Ronin and this is how it went. We found something. Yes, Windows command line persons in history. A chance, maybe. It can, definitely. Ronin, come on. What's up? Don't. Don't what, guys? I mean, you can do it. Don't what? Don't give me hope. Oh man, I, we should have given him earlier, Natasha. What do you say? I'm sorry I couldn't give it to you sooner. Now don't pester me like this, guys. I'm gonna give it to you. Hang on, hang on. Okay, all right, all right. Here it is. Okay, so this is the link where you need to go, and this is the gentleman. It says bash powerful com powerful command line editing command dot exe, and this is the gentleman who has pioneered it from 2020. 2020, sorry, and and there are other contributors. So this is. Amazing. I mean, I mean, guys, I was so desperate to show this video to you guys. To you guys. Okay. So we come down and we see all the features here that we can do. And I think some of them are even better than Linux. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong on this. But you can read through all these what is going on. But I am going to demo it to you rather than just reading it to you. All right. Let me show you guys. So what we need to do is we need to click this link. And we come here. We come down. We find the C-Link executable. And I mean, they are building stuff that Microsoft should have done by itself. I mean, I don't know. I mean, the open source community is building stuff that Microsoft should. But anyways, after this is done, we just click on it. And let me zoom in and just make sure you have selected all these checkboxes. And it will auto run when cmd.exe starts. So we are good to go. And I'm demoing this on Windows 11, but it will work on Windows 10. And I, now when you first fire it up, you see the obvious difference. And I've opened a terminal through which the command prompt is there, but it will work on the command prompt too. The first difference that you're going to see is some text here which says ceiling, the version, and the copyright notices from 2012 to 2018 by Martin Ridgers. He is the guy who originally made ceiling and then I don't know, he abandoned it for some reason. And then Christopher Antis and the team at the ceiling website at this link picked it up. So from 2020 to 2022, these guys, these gentlemen, I should have said they are maintaining it. If you hit the up arrow, then you can see that we have persistent history. And this history is being saved uh, being between sessions. So that is why it's persistent, right? So you can close it and then you can uh, open it and this thing will there. And again, another feature that I really love is the colorful command line. <laughs> I mean, I like colors, yeah. So, so I, I mean, this is, I mean, this is, and this, the, the, for the colors are the first improvement that I would like to see. So as you scroll through the commands, you can see if I can hit the up arrow and you will see all the commands that I've been working with. So. You can scroll down the video and you can see all the commands that I've been working with, but here is all the commands. Okay. Automatic suggestions and history completions. Okay. So if we go to our folder I, and as, as you see, as soon as I hit I, it shows me the places that I've been before. And this is what is mean by automatic suggestions and from history and completion. So it knows that I went to I downloads. So as soon as I typed I, it, show, it is showing me down, if I, that I do I want to go to downloads. If I hit tab, oh no, it, it is showing me that if I hit want to hit downloads. So if I hit the right key, then I'm already there. And within the yeah, downloads, we have Anaconda and all that. If not, I can come back or hit Control Z for undo, which is another feature. And then I can tap through all the top level folders that I have in my iDrive. All right, so we have X downloads, Monterey, OBS recording, Schemeo skips, Schemeo machines, screen utility, videos. So if I go there and see, I have not entered CD. Normally on, on Windows, you have to enter CD into the directory. I just hit I videos. If I hit enter, then I'm already there. And even the small case works apparently, which is surprising, but anyways. So if I hit DIR here, and we see we have two directories. Again, normally we have to CD into cache clip, but with this utility, we can just say cache clip, and it gives me, if I hit control and write, then it completes the word, or if I just hit the right arrow, then it will just complete the word, and it's showing me in advance what all folders are there. So this is not the only folder in cache clip. 
I can tap through the different folders that I have, which is amazing, guys. I mean, it's just amazing. <laughs> I mean, I like it. And then I can go to audio directly. See, I'm there. And then if I hit dir, we don't have any more directories there. Normally, if you hit dot, if you hit cd dot, then it keeps you in the same directory. If you hit cd dot dot, then it takes you up directory up. But with this utility, if I go first, again, old habits don't die hard. If I hit, hit into audio or audio, I had to hit tab. And then if I just hit dot dot, it goes back up level one directory. But if I go there first and I hit dot dot, which is one more directory up, and then I'll hit dot again. You see, it gave me auto completion also. Where do you think it will go, guys? See, it took me back two levels up. However, if I go to again, oh again, CD, oh man, I have audio, and I hit control right, and I'm on there again. Not there, again, I had to give this. If I hit dot, dot, which is one level, two level, one levels, one other dot, one level up. If I hit another dot, it takes me three levels up. See? And if I go to cache clip again, and hit right arrow again back there and I hit one level up, two level up, three level up, four level up. Then I'm back to where the parent drive. I mean, isn't this amazing? I mean, they've, they've, they've worked so hard on it. I mean, really, really amazing. I mean, amazing product, guys. I mean, that's why I went with Natasha to, to, to tell uh, Hawkeye, Ronin, and then he had no hope. I mean, he wanted, he wanted me to give no hope, but I, hopefully he's got something, okay? <laughs> All right, so uh, again, interactive comp uh, completion list. This is very important. So if I hit controls per space, I will get all the EXEs that are available in the system32 folder. So to see all these things, I can hit my keys and see all the things. I mean, you know, you, using this, I have found commands that I wasn't aware that they were available on my Windows system. And you can just type cycle through if you don't want, again, this is another very good feature, undo. See, hit Control Z, Control Z, and you're done. You're back. If you hit Control R, this is the reverse search. I will, I, I want to check whether ever even in my command line activities, I had ever issued the command Choco. So I want to say Choco. And you see, all the commands that are relevant with Choco are being shown. Then I can just hit Enter, and that command with all will execute this command completed again there's another incremental search which is control s which is the search ahead if i want to search if i have ever given the command msi exec no i have never given the command it's a failed search maybe okay i can't get i probably have to work with this feature okay uh, if you want to know all the shortcuts that these uh, c link has just hit alt h and it will bring you with all the shortcuts that are available. So I'm move, going through, I mean, you see cursor movement, completion, and everything. I mean, I'm just hitting the space bar to see all the, oh man, the link is huge. Oh, it's taking some time to learn all of this. I mean, but, but okay, I'm showing the options to you guys. Okay, I mean, play with it, guys. I mean, play with it. Really, really, this is so, so, so cool. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.